Hey, it's Space Engineers. It's been a while, but they put air into the game, so I figured it was worth revisiting. I love life support. Life support is my favorite thing about playing space games, and now that it exists, it's time to talk about it. The real reason I want to talk about it is because they linked to a beautiful video about how to create the most gorgeous airlocks. Um, it involves flashing lights and timers and pumping air in and pulling air out. And, well, that's not the way to do it. If you want to have a gorgeous airlock, that's the way to do it. But if you want to have an invisible airlock, I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's a lot simpler. So, this is my interior space, and the key to understanding how an invisible airlock works is understanding that this is where we change our spacesuits. Here, in the medical room, not in the airlock. You'll always be wearing your spacesuit in the airlock, so there's never going to be any need to have your space, uh, to have your airlock have air in it. So when you go into the airlock and you close the door behind you, this vent should always just suck out all the air. There is never any reason to have it set to pump. It should always be set to suck, because your helmet's always going to be on. So it doesn't matter. And what I've done is I've made a long skinny space. The space is long enough that that door closes and that will pump all the air out before we manage to get to the far door. So it's just a long corridor for, you know, from the point of view of a player, this is just a big long corridor. And you can put something cool on the far side of the glass, like the galley or whatever, and it'd be really neat looking. And you don't need to worry about waiting around and having flashing lights. It's invisible. It just works. The only thing we need to make sure of is that both of these doors are never open at the same time. Now we don't need timer blocks for that. All we need to do is make sure that they close. And for that, we're going to actually use a sensor block. These things are a whole lot easier to use than timer blocks, so let's go ahead and open it up. It's already set with all of the exact parameters we want. How great! All we want to do is make sure this block here is what happens when we enter the sensor block, but what we're more interested in is what happens when we exit the sensor block radius. And that is that we want to close the internal door. So, when I open the airlock, air comes in from outside and it gets cycled through, and oh, that might be wasting a little bit of electricity, and it might actually be wasting air. I don't know if that's 100% efficient. So we don't want that to stay open forever. We'll just have it close automatically. And the great part is it works because it's coming from both directions. If we open it from in here and we walk through, no problems. Now, the other side of this equation is the open door on the far side. When we come in from outside, we'll open this door, and we'll want to come in. So we need a sensor to close that door, too. Well, we could put a sensor down at that door, but there's really no reason. This door is not time-sensitive. The instant it closes, we're okay to pump air in here. So it only needs to be closed for a fraction of a second, and so there's not really any reason to have it uh, trigger off of its own sensor. What we're going to do is we're going to have it trigger off of the exact same sensor. But when we reach into it... Keep in mind, it counts as closed the very second it starts to close. There you go. Substantially more straightforward. And if we look at the corner right, oxygen none. The transparent airlock. They'll never even realize it's an airlock. So let's see how effective is this. Do we actually lose any air? If I go into here and I look down at our air tank, I've got the other one turned off, and this one is at 27.72%. Now it's at 26.72%. Now I actually don't know if it's possible to get more efficient than that. There seems to be some amount of small loss either on the pumping mechanism or maybe on the door itself. I haven't worked that out. But this is as efficient as any other airlock I, I have seen. So I call it a success. 25.7. 1 percent of a tank every time you go through the airlock. That's as low as I've ever managed to get it, but uh, this is the invisible way to do it. Your players will never know it's an airlock. Shoo.